Hey everybody, Wesselwook here. In this video, we're going to go through all the different changes made from Game Pass, starting on November the 9th and finishing on November the 17th. There's plenty to go through today in terms of the Game Pass, so let's jump right in. Now, if you do enjoy this video and find the information useful, consider liking, subscribe and see more. So the first major addition is that, that we're going to go through today. It's actually a Game Pass perk, not a game itself. And that is that you can get a 30-day free trial of Disney+, Plus, uh, which is a great little service. I mean, I already have it myself personally, but it's great for those people who haven't tried it out yet. Uh, watching Mandalorian at the minute, new episodes are out every Friday. So, you know, it's a great time to jump in if you've not caught Mandalorian Season 1. That's all, all on there. Plus, you've got loads of Marvel movies, Disney movies, etc., so definitely utilize that 30 day free trial of Disney Plus. Uh, well worth the effort. Next up, uh, starting on November the 10th, same day as the Xbox Series X came out, EA Play joined Game Pass Ultimate as well. So you got access to the entire library of EA Play games, got moved into the Game Pass. Uh, I already made a video going through what games those are. So part one will be pinned at the top now. So you can check those out if you're not sure which games are added. Uh, but yeah, definitely great there. Also, selected EA Play games are available on Android as well via the cloud gaming. And those games are Dragon Age Inquisition, Madden NFL 20, Mass Effect Andromeda, Mirror's Ed Catalyst, Plant vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2, The Sims 4, and Unravel 2. So, if you've got yourself a decent Android smartphone or tablet, you'll be able to play those on the go as well. But, let's now jump into which games have been added. So, Added to Android and console, November the 9th, was Gears Tactics. Gears Tactics is the fast-paced, turn-based strategy game for one of the most acclaimed video game franchise, Gears of War. Outnumbered and fight for survival, recruit and command your squad to hunt down an evil mastermind who makes monsters. The next game, which came on November the 10th, is Destiny 2 Beyond Light for Android and console. A new power is born out of the ancient pyramid ship above Europa's frozen frontier, and a dark empire has risen beneath. United under the banner of the fallen, Kel of Darkness, Aramis, join your fellow guardians and bring down the empire at any cost, even if it means wielding the darkness itself. Also added on November the 10th for Android and console is Planet Coaster Console Edition. Welcome to a new era in Coaster Park Simulation, Bring your ideas to life and with easy-to-use tools. Manage all aspects of your expanded empire and harness the world's best creations from an endlessly creative community to the Frontier Workshop. Guests react in real life as you set pieces, play scenery and install new exciting attractions. Keep them entertained so attendance figures and profits skyrocket. Also added on November 10th is Tetris Effect for console and PC. Tetris Effect Connected is the original game with all new co-op and competitive online and local multiplayer modes. This is Tetris like you've never seen it or heard it or felt it before. An incredible, addictive, unique and breathtakingly gorgeous reinvention of one of the most popular puzzle games of all time. Also added on November 12th is Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. It is a time of war. The Republic of Galbaldia under the influence of the sorceress Ebdia, mobilizes its great armies against the other nations of the world. Squall and other members of Seed, an elite mercenary force, join hands with Renoa, a resistance fighter, to fight against Galbadia's tyrannical rule and prevent Edia from ruling her ultimate goal. Also added on November 12th is Gonna 2 for Android. The half-truistic and unexpected hero Eek is back from this time death needs his help journey your way through the deep dark chaotic places with unimaginable sparks of color as you go on a mission to help death rid a mysterious presence from her lair battle crazy bosses lose your head a lot in this messy cute fast-paced procedurally generated platformer in addition to the single player journey to help death play the party co-op mode so you and your friends can lose your heads together also added on november 12th for pc is streets of rogue Streets of Rogues is a roguelike about player choice, freedom, and anarchic fun. The game takes inspirations from fast-paced, top-down roguelikes and adds free-form, experimentation-driven emerging gameplay, elements of immersive sims and RPGs. 
Rather than taking place in a dungeon, the game is set in a functionally procedurally generated city where complex AI informs decisions from all walks of life who are just trying to get it by in their daily activities. Then, on November 17th, Ark Survival Evolved Explorer's Edition is being added to Android console and PC, combining the base game, which is already available in Game Pass, with three massive expansion packs. Ark Survival Evolved's Explorer Edition is the ultimate way to get even more dinosaur action. The Explorer's Edition gives you access to the mega hit Ark Survival Evolved, as well as the Scorched Earth, Aberration and Extinction expansion packs, adding nearly 900 hours of gameplay. Each DLC is available for individual download as well. Also on November 17, Halo Master Chief Collection Halo 4 is being added to PC. Halo 4 joins the Master Chief Collection as the sixth and final chapter of the epic saga, now optimised for PC. Witness the Master Chief's triumphant return to battle, an ancient evil bent on vengeance and annihilation, shipwrecked on a mysterious world, faced with new enemies and deadly technology. The universe will never be the same. Then on November 19th, River, River City Girls is being added to Android console and PC. In this all-new entry in the legendary beat-em-up series, hot-blooded heroes Kunio and Riki have been captured leaving it to their hard-hitting girlfriends Kyoko and Misaki to serve up some payback. As you punch and kick your way through town, either solo or with a friend in local corp, you'll gain new skills, chow down on power-ups, wield an assortment of weapons, and unleash an arsenal of combos, throws, and special attacks that will leave the bad guys crying for mama. Also, on November the 19th, Star Renegades is getting added to Android and console. Star Renegades is a strategy RPG about outsmarting AI-driven adversaries, forging friendships and toppling galactic empires spanning over multiple generations, fusing a reactive tactical turn-based battle system that emphasises interrupts and counters with a procedurally generated and emergent mission-based campaign and intelligent adversary system with enemy officers that evolve and move up the ranks. Every playthrough is unique, challenging, and never the same. So that's all the games that have been added through from November the 9th up to November the 16th. Uh, then there's also some games leaving Game Pass on November the 16th. So if you part way through these games, you've got a little bit of time to finish them off uh, before they leave. Or you could pick them up and purchase them if you're not going to be able to finish in time and you get that Game Pass discount. So leaving Game Pass on November the 16th is Darksiders 3 for console and PC, Munchkin for console and PC, The Talos Principle for console and PC, and Tracks the Train Set Game for console and PC. And that's it. So that's all the info for everything that's being changed to Game Pass. Like I say, I highly recommend picking up your third day free trial of Disney Plus if you've not already. And like I say, check out the first part of the all the games being added from EA Play into Game Pass. And then again, you'll be able to see all those games as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the information useful. If you did, consider liking and subscribing to see more. Wookie out.